guys, what are we looking at today? Well, we're going to do a first day in pockets on this little Kaiser Silver. Uh, it's the first I'd really gotten to see it. I'm not sure how I feel about this one yet. It is a little unusually thin in hand, uh, but I will say it cuts so well. So guys, before we get into it any further, you know what time it is. Turn down the volume. Here comes a little bit of music. I'm on the fence about how I feel about this. This is a nice little cutter. It just is a little thin, in my opinion, in hand. But it's first carry. I might adjust to it. I did adjust to the handles on that Artisan Great White, the uh, Gavco design. It's really thin in a handle. It doesn't seem to bother me too much. I will say this thing slices really well. It's an attractive little knife. It's kind of a bare bones, no frills. So first day in pocket, we're going to turn this around. We're going to take a quick look at it from above. I'll tell you some of the things I like about it, some of the things I've noticed, and then I'll put it in my pocket and I'll carry it for a few days, maybe a week, up to two weeks, and we'll see how it pans out. Uh, like I said, I did do a little bit of light duty cutting with this this morning and it cuts really, really well. Aggressive edge, nice thin. So like I said, let's turn this around and take a look at it from above. So guys, this is the Kaiser Silver. Jared sent this along when he sent that package in. I, I did kind of feel on the fence about it when I did the unboxing. I've had it in pockets for probably three hours today. Uh, a lot of stuff was going on. I didn't do a lot of cutting with it, but I will tell you a couple things I don't like it off the bat. I know already I'm, I'm going to be upset when it comes to sharpening because it does not have much standoff here and it's going to have that big ramp there. You can see it's inconsistent from side to side, but the edge on it is really good. It's slightly recurve. Um, it's got a really good profile, nice and thin behind the edge, comes down real thin and it, it slices right through cardboard. Uh, it is fairly comfortable to carry, but this is a, this was a prime opportunity to use a good deep carry pocket clip and they did not. There's a lot of that sticking up. Now this would be a case, this would be a case where I would want something more similar to this, maybe not as tall, but to having that pocket clip closer to that point because I'm not gonna tell, I'm not gonna lie to you, it sticks up a good bit. It's not that I give a not that I care about whether people can see that I'm carrying a knife. It's that that can be uncomfortable um, if you're sitting for a while, like say you're driving. I did notice when I drove my daughter to her doctor's appointment earlier, I had this in my pocket, so it was in the front part of my pocket uh, along with another knife that I'm carrying for review, which is this Kubi. Um, so even back towards the back, it still sticks up kind of proud and, and digs into you a little bit. Action on it's pretty good. It's not anything to write home about so far. It's not like drop shut, but the action is nice and smooth. There is no blade play. Um, lockup's pretty good in hand. It's not bad. The pocket clip really does not hotspot as much as you would think with that. I can feel it, but it's not... Like when you guys watched that KU322 video that I did, uh, the uh, the one that's the budget Arius kind of. I don't know what order these videos are going to go up in, uh, so I don't 100% know yet. But this this definitely is one that is – hang on just a second, guys. Uh, the daughter needed some advice on her medication. She did not understand how much to use or how often. Um, so, yeah, this thing – I um, forget what I was saying. Uh, was, oh, yeah. So I was carrying it when I went to the kid's appointment. The pocket clip is a little bit hot spotty. I can feel it, but it doesn't hurt. That Kubi that I did, I think the video went up yesterday for the Kubi. I can't remember um, the, the budget areas. Much more uncomfortable. This is still kind of proud. I would imagine if you had smaller hands than me, it would put it in a position where you're going to be further up on it and it would be digging in. But for me, it's sitting in an area where it's kind of a natural crease. Um, there's not a lot to hold on to, so I don't know how well it's going to do for heavy-duty cutting tasks. Typically, the broader the typically the broader the handle, the, the better you can get on it for doing heavy cutting. But if you're just opening mail and packages and stuff like that, I think this would be great. Double thumb studs. Uh, so you can have this. You can deploy this left or right-handed. I know that that's one of the things that my buddy Tino likes. Because he's left-handed, even if it doesn't have a right hand or a left-hand carry option, he still has that deployability there. 
Uh, it is very sharp. As you can see, I slipped off a little bit and I felt it start to bite me. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. Um, it's a little line. It is very, very sharp, really thin, um, comes down to a really nice poising, uh, piercing point. Jeez, Mike, get your words together. Do you speak English? Um, almost a tanto. So you could get in on something and cut around it. Like if you had to cut into something and you needed to be able to like pierce into it and then cut around it, not a problem. Nice and thin. It is really light. I'm curious to see what the weight is once I carry it. Like I said, blind review. I don't know anything about it except what's on the blade. I don't know weight. I don't know specs. The jimping here is in the actual blade material. Uh, you do not have, you can't really see the liners at all, which gives it a nice clean look. And they actually put jimping in on the actual scale material and it gives it a nice clean look and it's not it's not horrible i'm not gonna lie that's some really really good jimping kaiser has done a really good job on it this is not an unappealing looking knife it's got some really cool lines open or closed it looks nice but it also looks simple and sometimes simple is good you know sometimes just simplicity and clean lines is something that appeals to people Pretty good access. I do like the fact they've given, even on a small skinny knife, I have really good access to the lock bar because they've lowered this area down here and scalloped it out. Really good. I'm, I'm of two different opinions when it comes to, like I was talking about the clean lines of this liner. Sometimes I like it when you can see the liner and it gives it that little touch, that little pop where it sticks out, like on say the Rhea, the, the uh, CJRB Rhea on a small knife where you have that micarta. But sometimes it's nice to just only have that nice clean material and then just only see the lock bar access to unlock it. So there you go guys, real simple, real quick clean, uh, click, ah. real quick look at this uh, Kaiser Silver. Nice little knife. I actually, I would have called this the sliver. I think, uh, you know what this reminds me of now that I'm thinking about it? It reminds me of the Kershaw Leak. Um, it, it It's a lot like the Leak or the Chive. Nice thin blade, nice thin handle, comfortable carry, and it does cut really well. So we'll see how this plays out over the next couple weeks of carry. Kaiser's kind of been doing a really good job with action and everything on their knives. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this does well. We'll see how it does in pocket. Guys, that's it. Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and get about our business. So there you go, guys. That is the Kaiser Silver. It is a, it's a fairly nice cutter. Uh, like I said, I just don't know how I feel about it in hand. Not much else to talk about it. Doing those blind reviews. Don't know the price. Don't know anything except what's stamped on the blade. So uh, we're going to put it in pocket, carry it for a while. So that's it on this one, guys. Uh, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. Please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. And speaking of things that you do and don't like, if you like the change from doing premieres at 4 p.m. to now the video being available at 6 a.m., uh, let me know if you want to switch back. I just am kind of, I'll do a poll on the community tab and we'll see how that pans out. Uh, guys, if you want to support the channel, it's as simple as, like I say, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment. It helps push channels like mine and Jared's and Lefty's and everybody, uh, Tri-State. It helps push our channels up the algorithm. If you do want to support the channel financially, there's a lot of ways you can do it. Down in the, These are all found down in the description. I have a membership link that gets you in on a bunch of different benefits, including exclusive content, uh, B-roll, if you're a premium tier sharpening, yeah, premium tier member, you get a sharpening tutorial series, and everyone that's a member gets saves five dollars per knife on my sharpening service. Uh, other ways you can do it, I have a bunch of affiliate links down below, including like beginner stones, advanced stones, knives, things like that. Anything you purchase, I get a portion of it at checkout. They don't charge you anything. It just is a little benefit for me bringing them your direction. And the final was I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. And I've set up a coupon code that works anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. That coupon code is crazy sharp. All one word, capital C, capital S, crazy sharp. Saves you 10% at checkout. And if you take pictures of yourself wearing my merchandise, I will put the pictures in the videos somewhere, either here or at the beginning or in the middle. I don't know yet. So no one sent me any pictures. Uh, that's it, guys. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. It makes it easier to moderate the channel. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.